Okay, so let us start the class. Good evening, all. Is everyone can view my screen now? Yes. Uh, last class, what we discussed? What we discussed last class? We are using interface. We implement the interface. Interface call class. Schedule effects already started. I hope so. Yes, sir. Schedule. Schedule FX. Am I started schedule FX? No. Oh, we discussed about interface topic. Huh? Yes, sir. We only interface class. By using schedulable, uh, we are implementing the interface. Okay. Let us start the program. Schedule FX. Training one at ds.com. Yeah, we already create a program and uh, schedule the Apex as well. So. Yes, sir. Only so, output yeah. output is remaining yeah, for output, showing. Output should be okay. fine. Yeah. So what is the record we inserted? Employee, employee software record we inserted into. What is the program name? A C class. Can I, can I? Yes, this is the program what we created yesterday. What is the name? Devananda. Yeah, record inserted or not? Yes, sir. Okay, yesterday uh, we don't have time to wait for that, yes or no? Almost 40 minutes gap is there. That is the reason I could not able to wait here yesterday. No yes, sir. What yes. inserted or not? Inserted. Next. Let me call. Sir, can you me. show one time how we can add to the schedule or that class, sir? Do you understand this program? Yeah, program fine, sir. How we can add to the schedule or from Yeah, I'll show you. Go to setup. Go down. Develop. Go to visual. No, 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 no. Under pain, I think. One of the classes. Uh, schedule oh, epic. Schedule. Here we have to mention the job name, we have to give the job name, we have to write the, we have to add the Apex class, what we written. That is SA class. You want to perform this operation weekly or monthly? If it is weekly, okay, in a week, uh, on which day you want to perform? The whole, if you, if you want to perform this operation a whole week, we have to select all. 
Understand? Yes, sir. We start date and date and uh, preferable time. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, now let us start the next topic. In the meanwhile, let me copy this program. Copy. This is all about schedule apex. Next topic. That is uh, 08, 12, 21. Next topic is batch apex. So before I'm going to discuss about batch apex, first let me discuss about governor limits. What is this? Governor limits. Governor, governor limits. What is the meaning of governor limits? For governor limits, let me ask you a simple question. Which technology can be called as Cloud technology. Point clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Technology can be as cloud technology. Which are technology? Supports multi tenant architecture. That technology can be called as what? Cloud technology. Point clear? Or tell me what is the meaning of multi tenant? Multi means more than one tenant means people residing or living side by yes or no hello yes sir so multi means more than one tenant means people residing side by side it means multiple people or more than one people deciding or living side by side. More than one people deciding, what is this? Side by side. Tell me, okay. where we can see this kind of culture? More than one people deciding side by side. Where we can see this kind of culture? Tell me. Internet centers. What interpretation? Apartments. Ah, very good. What is this? Apartment. Yes or no? Apartment is the best example for what? Multi tenants. Means multiple people, multiple families are living side by side. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Suppose, let us assume I am living in Hyderabad. My apartment name is Green Park Residency. I am staying in 504 flat. Actually, in this apartment, we have five floors. Each floor contains five flats. Five flat means one, five families. Total how many families all together? 25 families. 25 families are residing in the same premises. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Residing in the same. Princess. Sir, no. Good. For all these 25 families. Sir, sir, all... sir. Hello? Hello. There yeah. is a lot of disturbance back and we are not able to consultation. They are making some noise. Everybody, please mute from your side. Everyone. Except Kavita. Rest of all the people, please mute. 
Except Kavita. Kavita, please speak with me, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, fine. So 25 families residing in the same premises. For all these 25 families, there is a common place. What is a common place? Cellar. Cellar is a common place for all the 25 families or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. If it is common place, everybody can use it, can share it. The common place. Okay. Let us assume I have 25 cars. Tell me, can I place all the 25 cars in the cellar? No, sir. No. Why? Only one. Do it in a common place. Do because a common place. I'm not supposed to use a complete uh, area. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. That is why. That is why the moment I joined the flat, my flat owner or maybe builder, okay, uh, they draw the lines. Yes or no? Sir, you are staying in 504. So this is the 504 place. In this place only, we have to place your cars or vehicles. Yes or no? Beside, yes, me, beside me, 503 is there. Beside him, 502. Beside him, 501. 501. Yes, sir. No. Yes. Like this. Uh, 501, 502, 503, 504. And we have 505 also there. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I have to stay. I have to place my cars only in this area. Yes, sir. No. I have two cars or three cars. Can I occupy my beside uh, 503 flat uh, space? No, sir. Or can I use 505 flat space? No. No, sir. Sir, if I'm going to use uh, this particular space or this particular space, what about their cars? Yes, sir, no. Where they can place? Yes, sir, no. I'm not, I'm not supposed to occupy the other person's space. That is why they draw the lines here. Yes, sir, no. I think yes, you are. Sir. They draw the lines in the cellar. So within the line only, I have to place my cars. Those lines yes. are called as my limitations. Those lines can be called as what? My limitation. limitations. Within the limits only, I have to place my cars or vehicles. Yes, sir. No. I'm not yes, supposed sir. to use other person's space. So here also, multi tenant architecture means vendor company, vendor company, memory space, given the rent, given for rent. Given for rent. Rent. All of us. Yes or no? For all of us means for all, for different companies. Yes or no? Speak out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my company memory, my company uh, application, my company database, your company application, your company database, maybe some other company application, some other company database, everybody using the same memory space. Yes or no? If they did not put any limitations, if they did not design any any kind of governor limits, okay, uh, there might be a chance of uh, raising some other problems. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So to avoid that kind of problems, vendor company given some limitations. Those limitations can be called as governor governor's limits. rules. Governor limits. Governor so as a developer, so as a developer, when we design the application. As a developer, when we design the application, we have to follow those governor limits. We should not, we are not supposed to violate the governor limits. Three all of you. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is called governor limit. So here, so here, I'll show you one example so that we can clearly understand. My class, my class, my class, my class. Okay, let's just execute the program. Okay. 
process I got. This is the log file. Okay, everybody please look at this carefully. What is this? Limit usage. What is this? Limit, Limit usage. usage for... Uh, number of circle queries, zero out of how many? 100. 100. Number of circle queries, zero out of 100. What does that mean? In a single Apex class... Limits we have given. Uh, in, in single Apex class, maximum you can write 100 queries. Understand? Yes. yes sir. In one Apex program, we can write maximum how many queries? 100, 100 queries. This example, we do not write any queries. We do not write any SQL statement. Is yes or no? Yes, that sir. is why it is showing what is zero. Zero. Tell me, in this example, am I using any select statement? No, sir. No. That is why it is showing what? Zero. Zero. But how many maximum you can write? 100. 100. Next, number of query rows, zero out of 50,000. Means using select statement, we can fetch the records. Yes or no? From a subject. Yes. But one using one select statement, we can fetch maximum 50,000 records only. Understand? Yes, sir. We cannot fetch more than 50,000 records. Next, number of social queries. Maximum you can write in a single program 20, but it's yes. showing zero. Next, number of DML statements. What is this number of? DML. DML statements. DML statements means insert operation, update operation. Update. Understand all of you? Yes, all sir. these three, all these three commands. So zero out of how many? 150. Uh, 150. Maximum you can write how many? 150. 150. 150. But in my example, I did not write any query. But maximum how many we can write? 150. 150. What is the DML rows? Zero out of how many? 10,000. <laughs> Sorry, 10,000. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So either we can update 10,000 records at a time, either we can insert 10,000 records at a time, we can insert, we can update, the, we can delete only 10,000 records at a time. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Something I'm repeating. We can update 10,000 records at a time as per the Governor. Governor. Okay. We can update only how many? 10,000. 10,000 records at a time. Yes or no? Yes. My point is clear, everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can update only 10,000 records at a time, not more than that. But coming to the real time scenario. Uh, tell me, in India, there are so many government employees are working. Yes or no? Yes. And every month, uh, government of India, okay, credit the tallies. Yes, sir. In their accounts. Yes. Sir. yes. Tell me how many employees are there? How many government employees are working in India? Crores of free people. Yes, sir. No? Yes. yes, sir. So every month first, every month first, we need to update, update. salary. How many records? How many records? Crores of records. Crores of records we need to update. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. But as per the government limit, we can update only maximum. <laughs> 10,000. 10,000 records. Yes. But here limitation is only 10,000. But uh, my requirement is what? For rules of record. What we have to do? How to overcome this problem? Problem is very really simple. The problem is very simple. Answer is very simple. We can do uh, it. Yeah. I have, I have an institute. I have an institute. In my institute, I have only one classroom. Point clear. In my institute, I have only one classroom. Yes. This class, this classroom capacity is maximum twenty-five students. Yes. Point clear. This classroom capacity, how many students maximum? Twenty-five students. Twenty-five students. Yes or no? 
Yes. Not tell yes, me sir. Question I'm asking. Suppose uh, um, I got an offer, I got an opportunity from one of the engineering college. Okay. Uh, CSE final year students. CSE final year students. Uh, I need to do training on Salesforce. Understand? Yes. Yes. Actually, how many students are there? CSE final year students. Near about 100 students are there. Yes. For all these 100 students, I need to give what? Salesforce training. Yes. But in my institute, my classroom capacity is only how much? 25 okay. students. I can accommodate only 25 students. Yes. But here I need to give uh, training for how many students? 100 students. 100 students. So I cannot accommodate 100 students in a single classroom. Yes. So what is the solution for this problem? You can divide the uh, in batches. We have batches. to divide the students into divide the students into batches. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. We have to divide the students into what? Batches. batches. So as per my room capacity, 25 students. And total number of students are how many? 100. 100. Total number of student equals to students divided by number of capacity. Number of capacity. Um, capacity. Okay. Equals to batches. 100 divided by 25. Is equal to what? Four. So number of what? Batches. batches. Number of batches equal to number of total number of students divided by capacity. Home capacity. So you will get what? Number of batches. Yes. So how many batches I need to run? Four batches. Four batches. Each batch capacity 25 students. That is how I can overcome this problem. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Here also, let us assume I have 50,000 records I need to update. I need to update how many records? 50,000. 50,000 records I need to update. Yes. But what is the governor limit? Only 10,000. 10, what do you have to do? We have to divide five it by five. Five, five, yeah. five, five, five batches. One to 10,000 is one batch. 10 to 20. 10,000, one to 10,000, one 20, batch. 000, yes. 20,000. 20,000, one to 30,000. Yes. One batch. 30,000, 30, one to 40,000. 40, one batch. 40,000 to 50,000. Yes. Okay. So each batch size is how much? 10,000. 10,000. Batch size. Equals. Number of records in each? In batch. Is called batch size. What is batch size? Number, Number of, of records, records in each batch. Point clear? Yes, yes, sir. So, whenever we are working with batch effects, whenever we are working with batch effects, we need to divide two. We need to use. C need to use a predefined all as what is this? Badge. Batchable. Schedulable. Instead of use schedulable, na? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now we are batchable. using both. Batchable. 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 Which is belongs to top level class. Today we discussed about top level class in the class we remember. Yes, sir. Which is belongs to top level class called what is this? Base class. Database. Top level class name is called what? Database. Database. This top level class database 
there is a predefined interface is called what batchable batchable so this is the interface we need to use when we are working with what batchable understand yes yes no and schedulable or schedule apex what is a predefined method we used yesterday execute execute, execute. like that in batch apex we need to use predefined method a need to use the predefined methods that's all else for work start uh, execute, execute and finish there are three methods we need to use when we are working with what batchable batch apex yeah now i'm going to discuss about each method uh, job start method will fetch us all the records start method will fetch us all the records from object at a what is this start method will fetch us all the records from its object what at a at a yes yeah execute method execute method this method start method sorry execute, execute method will execute, execute. Method will perform operations on the records and finish method will notify the user saying that job is Did. All of understand. Like that, we have to use how many methods, guys? Three methods. Three methods. Method, execute method and finish method. Finish method. Start method will fetch us all the records from its object at a time. <coughs> understand? Yes, sir. Whereas execute method will perform the operations on all the records, and finish method will notify the user saying that job is completed. Yes, sir. Point clear, everyone. Yes, sir. Okay. Execute method will perform the operations on the records batch by batch. What is this? Batch by batch. Batch by batch. Now tell me, among these three methods, the start method, finish method, will call only one time. Yes. Among these three methods, start method. and finish method will call only, only one once one yes or no yes. because start method call only one time fetches all the records and give it to whom here execute method execute method execute. and execute method divides all the records batch by batch and it will execute all the records batch by batch first batch completed then it goes to second batch again second batch completed then it goes to third batch third batch completed then again it goes to fourth batch like that batch by batch batch by batch is meant execute like that how many batches from first batch to last batch last batch, batch. execute method will call more than one time because it is going to execute the records batch by batch but whereas start method and finish method will call only one time yes, sir. Sir. yes sir what is the purpose of finish method After completion of the job, we have to acknowledge to the user and notifying the user saying the job is completed through email. Understand all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. That is why start method, finish method will call only one time, and whereas execute method will call more than one time. That depending on number of matches. Understand all of you? Yes, sir. Hello, guys. I am speaking. Uh, all yes, of sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What I am speaking. Start method, finish method will call only one time, and whereas execute method will call more than one time, depending yes. on the number of batches. Oh, batches. 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 On these three methods, start and finish method will call only one time, and, and execute method. Execute method will call more than one time. Call more than one, more than one time. time. More than one time, depending on. What is this? Batch. Batch. Uh, depending on, on number of records. Batch. Batch. Batches. Okay. Depending on the number of batches. Is this point clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, no. 
Or let me start the program. Let me start the program. Hello. Arpan, Arpan, are you there in the class? Anukan, the sir, Bharat. Yes, sir. Some people are missing in the class. Arpan, are you there? Yes, sir. Are you coming to the class regularly or not? I'm joining class, but sometimes my meeting is going on. That's why. Just... Oh, I see. Sometimes you're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. So actually, office has been started. So. Mm, okay. Okay. So As public it, class class name. As is test first. Public class class name. Implements. Implements. What is a predefined interface? Batchable. Batchable. Which is belongs to a top level class called what? Database. Ah, very good. Database. Yes. Belongs to a top level class called data. Database. Database dot batchable. Batchable. Yes, sir. Public class class name implement database dot batchable. This method contains or this uh, batch of x contains how many predefined methods? Three methods start, execute, start method. and finish. This is execute. the start method. Yes. Okay. Second one? Execute method. Execute method. Third one? Finish method. Finish method. Let me start start method. Let me write start method. Okay. Yes. Okay, start. Every method, what is the abstraction? What is the abstraction for every method? Public. Ah. Public. Why are you taking this much of time? Public. Okay. After that, we need to write written type or not? Yes. Public. Because every method should have some written type. Na? Yes. Yes. No? yes. What is the method name? Start method. Start. What is the method? Before the method, what we need to mention? Public word. Written, written type. Written type. Yes. Before written oh, type, what is this? Abstraction. Abstraction. In case if this method does not return any value, then we have to mention void. 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 But as per my explanation, is a start void. method. Is start method fetches all the records and give it to whom here? Execute method. method. It means that start method returns some records or not? Yes, yeah. sir. Let us records to whom? Execute method. Execute method. Execute method. One record or multiple records? Multiple records. All the records. Multiple records. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. The multiple records means what? From which subject? Employee subject. Ah, employee. employee double, double underscore C. Okay. Every record I want to fetch. Yes. Record by record, record by record, I fetch. I am in the sense start method will fetch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From first record to last record in the subject. Yes. So I want to repeat the loop or not? Yes. No. For each loop. Yes or no? Repeat, repeat. It means first record, next record, third record, fourth record, fifth record, like this. That is why yeah. I am going to use something like what? What is this? Iterable. Iterable. Iterable means repetition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So public is the abstraction. Iterable, Iterable. employee Iterable. double underscore C is the written type. Yes. And the start is a method name. Method yes, name. Yes, sir. Good. I hope all of you remember yesterday's class schedule apex. In the yes. schedule apex, we are use what execute method. Yes. That execute method. What is the operator? What is the data? What is the parameter you are using? Uh, schedulable context. Ah yes. Ah, yes. Schedulable context. Schedulable context. S C H C. Schedulable context, but we are using batchable con. We are using batch apex, yes or no? Batchable context. That is why we are using what? Batchable context. Con batchable context, yes or no? Yes, sir. BC. BC. Now it is clear, everybody. Yes, sir. Guys. Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Is this clear? Okay, yes. this start method returns all the records to whom here? Execute method or execute, not? Execute, execute method. method. Using, what is this? Return. Oh, 
written in employee double underscores statement select what is it select salary double only salaries and because i want to update all the employee salaries that's all yeah yeah salaries no. from what employee employee double underscore c uh, that's it now all of you understand up to this yes sir mom public yes, class class name ba class implements database dot batchable b a t c h a b l e batchable mm -hmm. why is showing error message let me check okay. no problem no problem no problem no written type no problem okay here we have to mention employee as well employable underscore c Okay, we will take it later. What is the problem? Here? Okay, so all of you understand the start method? Yes, sir. Okay, now I now I need to write what? Execute method. Execute method. Okay. Again, what is the abstraction? Speak out. Public. Public. Public void. Execute method does not return any value, sir. Yes. Yeah. That is why I'm using return type is what void. void. What is the method uh -huh. name? Execute. Okay. In this execute method, I'm going to use uh, uh, what do you call uh, two parameters. Okay. One is same parameter. Yes. Batchable context. Ama. Hmm. That curial terms. Yes, template double underscore C. OBG. So, how many parameters I'm using? Two. Two parameters. Okay. So, BC is a variable parameter which is belongs to Bazil context type, and OB is another parameter which is belongs to list employee double underscore C type. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to use for each loop statement. For uh, employee double underscore C OBJ plus B ER OBJ OBJ uh, ER dot salary uh, double underscore C plus equal to 10,000 rupees. I want to add. Okay. Yes. Then finally, what? Update. Right? OBG. Implements I M P L E M E N T S database dot batchable. Any space is there? No space now. <laughs> okay. Now all of you understand the execute method? Yes, sir. Okay. Next to finish method. Again, finish method also does not reduce any value. I'm not writing any uh, what do you call? I'm not writing any message. Uh, we will discuss. Okay, how to send the email? Programmatically, okay. how to create email and how to send an email? I will discuss tomorrow. Okay. Okay, sir. But batchable Batchable context. BC. Context. BC. Why the problem occurs here? What is the problem here? I think we don't want to know. Data arguments for it by a parameter. Database dot batchable. We don't need to write database, I think. Uh, uh, after database batchable, it should be a, as object. Implement database uh, dot batchable as object. It will take as object. Yeah. Salary. Employed double underscore dot salary, I think, sir. No, 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 no. I mentioned the subject name, but I still am getting problem. Class must be. It should be S object, not name, sir. What is S object? Only S object. Yes, yes, S object. No, no, that is wrong. That is wrong. Subject is wrong. 
Sir, as is 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 test also not be written in upper side. Added it is test. It is not. It is not. It is not. First class. It is a business box. Okay, sir. Let me check. <laughs> क्यों नहीं नहीं वो एस ऑब्जेक्ट का नाम लिख रहा है जबकि वहां एस ऑब्जेक्ट रहेगा तो वही मैं बहुत नेम नॉट कर डेटा बेस डॉट मैचेबल एम्प्लॉय डब्ल्यू एंड स्कोर्स पब्लिक क्लास बैच ऑफ एक्स क्लास एवरीथिंग इज परफेक्ट व्हाई व्हाई इट इज नॉट गेट I'm not writing. Sir, sir, B, sir, B is a small letter and B is a capital letter batchable. No, that is not the problem. It's not case and structure actually. Sir, not name of the object. You have just have to write S object. Arey Baba should not write S object name. You have to mention the S object name here. Don't write S object. That's what I'm telling. How we can write this? So be you. You you want me to write like this or what? Huh? That is wrong. In angle bracket, we have to add some. Yes, sir. I put in angle brackets only. I don't know what is the problem. अरे बाबा सेम प्रोग्राम पब्लिक क्लास क्लास नेम बीए क्लास इंप्लीमेंट्स डेटाबेस डॉट बैचेबल एम्प्लॉयड अपर अंडर स्कोर सर इन द लाइन नंबर 3 डेटाबेस डॉट बैचेबल कंटेस्ट ओ सॉरी सेम प्रॉब्लम डोंट राइट एस ऑब्जेक्ट इयर We have to mention the subject name. From which subject you are trying to get the data? Okay. Yeah. I forgot to write what top level class name here. What is the top level class? Data bus. That's it. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. So now I hope all of you understand all the three methods: start method, execute method. Of course, I do not write any code in the finish method. So I will, I will, I will, I will write the code. Uh, how to send the email notification to the user uh, once the job is completed so programmatically how to uh, how to send the email uh, to a specific user that that i am going to discuss in tomorrow session okay so for okay. time being please ignore this the finish method i did not write in code in this okay so here i wrote only three methods start method execute method and finish method start method fetches all the records from a subject and execute method perform the operations record batch by batch and finally update obj and finish method now tell me once your program is completed 
So this is only business class. I do not write any test class corresponding to this. That's all no. Yes, How to execute business class? How to execute the business class? If you want to execute the business class, anonymous window. Open the anonymous window here. Open the anonymous window here. What is the class name? BA class. Let me create for this object for this business class. Yes. BA class. Okay. And uh, database dot batchable. What is this? Execute batch. So database is a top level class. In this class, execute batch is a predefined method. Through this method, I am passing OBS as an argument. Yes, sir. Understand all of you. Hello. Yes, sir. Execute batch OBS. I am passing as an argument. Clear all of you. Yes. Okay. So click on what execute button. If I click on execute button, if I click on execute button. Here I will get success, yes or no? Yes, sir. You got. Tell me how many success I will get. Only one success for one program. Yes. Okay. But look at this. How many success are going to generate? Four success. One, two, three, four. four. Yes, sir, no? Yes. Of course, all the four successes are unread. Yes. Why four success I am getting here? Method by method. The reason is my program contains three methods. For each yes. method, I got one success. The overall program, I got another success. Total how many? Four. Four success. Now, all of you understand why I got four success here? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, go back. Go back to the program. Open the employer subject. Day one salary, how much here? 20,000. Abdul salary, 1 lakh. Okay. Let me execute the program once again. Let me execute the program once again. Execute. Go back. Observe. Let me refresh this page. Yes, 30,000. Yes, 30, sir. 1 lakh, 10,000. Kruti salary, 1 lakh, 10,000. Rajni Khan salary, 30,000. Yes. If we record salary, Incremented 10,000. Anukant, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, why are you not speaking in the class? Uh, I'm in a noise environment, so that's why. I'm... Fine, 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 no problem. Okay. All that's the records good. gets updated 10,000? Yes, sir. Good. Now, now, a simple point. Go down, go down. Now, let me copy and paste this program. Okay. And before this, let me write some variable. Let me write some variable. As of now, only member methods are written. Start, execute, and finish. Let me take some data member. And channel of you. Hello. Yes, sir. Let me take some data member here. What is the data member? One name. What is the name I given here? Anukant. Some dot debug. I am in what is this? Part method. Let me take, let me print name. Tell me what is the name you are trying, uh, it is going to print. I am in start meter, Anukant. Anukant will print, okay. Yes or no? <laughs> One minute. One minute.
I mean, start with their name, okay? Name is equal to, let me give what? Huh? System dot debug. I mean, which method? Execute method. Yes or no? I just printed what name? Now tell me what is the name you are expecting to print here? Anukanth. Kavita, because Kavita overrated and what? Anukanth. Yes or no? Are speak out? Yes, sir. Our name is equal to. Tell me some other person's name here. Pushma, are you there in the class? Yes, Pushpa? sir. Yeah. Why are you not coming to the class, Pushpa, regularly? Oh, I'm regular, sir. But I do not see your name in the list. Maybe uh, sometimes I join late. Mm. Every day I'm asking. System, system or debug. I am in what method here? Finish, Finish method. method. And Plus name Pushpa. Pushpa name is going to overrated on what? Kavita. Yes. And Pushpa name is great. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Fine, guys. That's it. Let me compile and save the program. Okay. And click on execute button. Again, I got three success, four success here. And let me click on this button. So I yeah, am in start method. What is the name you're expecting? Anukant. Yes, Anukant, Anukant, yes. In execute method. Kavita. In finish method. Pushpa. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I am in execute method. What is the name printed? Anukant. But we are all expecting what? Kavita. Kavita, yes. I am in finish method. That is also printed Anukant. Yes. So start method. So start method Anukant. Execute method is also Anukant. Finish method is also. Anukant. What is that? Anukant. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Anukant. Everything is Anukant only. Finish Anukant, execute Anukant. Because start, yes, start method is method. going to... It means that the value is not overriding here, yes sir? Yes sir. Why the values are not overriding here? What is the reason behind this? Is anyone can expect this? Because Why start method is going to pass. Oh, start method, okay. Method rowing going to pass what only records, not name, huh? Yes, yes. So because we are giving the name inside the method, it is not public for all methods. If it is not public, it's a data member. If it is a data member, we can access in all the methods. It's not yes. a local variable. Name is a data member. What are you talking? Who is speaking here? Sir Maima. Ah, this is basics, Maina. It is a data member. It's not a local variable. If it is data member, we can access the entire class. If it is local variable, that is your answer is correct. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Uh, why the values are not overriding here? Why Kavita value is not overriding Hanukkah? And why Pushpa name is not overriding Kavita? The because reason... because uh, first we print the uh, message and then we write the name. So what? So what? Only start method will call only one time and the Anukant will be saved in the name, the variable in the memory and it will not override it. Whenever we are calling now, it is calling from the start method because it is using the data from the start method, whatever the... Of course, variable. of course, in the start method, is the statement executed or not? Yes. Yeah, printed. Okay. So is the statement executed in the execute method? Yes, that statement is also executed. Yes. If the statement executed, so in the in the, in the in the before it goes to execute method, the Kavita name already overrated on what? Anukant. Anukant, yes. 
Oh, by oh, default, yeah. it is, is stateless, so we have to... Ah, use very good, Pushpa, stateful. very good, very good. By default, it is stateless. What is this? By default, okay. Bazapix is stateless. Okay. By default, Bazapix is stateless. That is the reason the values are not overriding. Can everyone hear? Yes, sir. What is stateless? The variable value cannot override with what? New values. The data member values cannot override with new, new values. values. That is called stateless. I want to make it a stateful. If you want to make it a stateful, we need to make use of what? Comma. What is this? Database dot stateful. Compile and save the program. Spelling mistake. Execute. Now look at this. I'm an execute method. What is the name printed? Avita. Avita. Pushpa. I'm in finished method. What is this? Pushpa is over okay. Anukand. What is Anukand? Okay. What is this? Database dot. Stateful. Okay. So of course I, I will give us some narration about this program tomorrow. Now all of you understand what is stateful and what is stateless and all. Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll continue the rest of the points. Program is not yet completed, mass effects program. We need to combine the mass effects program with schedule effects. Okay, we need to schedule sir. the program. So that I will discuss tomorrow's session. And also, I'm going to discuss about how to send the email notification. Yes or no? Programmatically, how to pass the email notification to the user once the job is completed. So that is also I will discuss tomorrow's session. Okay? Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you guys. I'll catch you tomorrow, same time. I have another class. They're waiting for me. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.